All right, guys, it's Stephen here on Blue Horizon TV, and it's the transfer target. And there's been a little bit of news on John Stones. Now, allegedly, and this is in the mirror and the sun, Pep is uh, confident that he'll sign the young defender for next season. Everton allegedly also don't want to keep him for a second year in a row against his will. We all remember last year's um, transfer saga where Chelsea were bidding and bidding and bidding, but they kept refusing bids. And um, Koeman isn't happy with the idea of going into the season with a player who clearly doesn't want to be there, and he feels it'd be detrimental to his performances to keep him against as well, which leaves City in pole position if you believe what the papers are saying. Chelsea want him, United want him, but Pep believes that John Stones will see the light and realise that he can develop into one of the best young defenders uh, in world football alongside his uh, tutelage. Um, and I'll be honest, I think I initially had my doubts about John Stones, but it's pretty obvious Pep wants players to be a certain kind of defender for him. Not necessarily the best in terms of pure brute force or natural defensive instinct, but he wants him to be able to play in a certain way. If you think of PK, you think of Boateng, Bayern, these are players who you wouldn't necessarily consider a kind of pure natural defenders in the way that Vincent Kompany maybe is, but they are undoubtedly two of the world's finest uh, players in central defence. And it's because of their reading of the game, their understanding. Now, Pep maybe sees something in him to suggest that he could be a long-term solution alongside uh, uh, Vincent Kompany. And you'd have to just trust his judgment because he is our man and he's our new manager. And whatever he wants, you have to believe in his uh, ability to spot a good player because he's got plenty of um, uh, experience doing just that. So. I'm going to say this is going to stay on the outsides for now because there's been no real news to suggest that this will be done before the Euros. And I think every player we're in for at the moment uh, during the Euros will kind of roll a little bit until it's finally out of the way. But yeah, that's the, the update on John Stones. Elsewhere, there's been a bit of a, a weird one. Marlos Moreno. Now, hands up if you knew him, who he was 24 hours ago. None of you did, unless you've been a football manager. But he's a very exciting young Colombian winger. He plays for Atletico Nacional uh, down in South America. Not heard of him myself, but I've done a little bit of research. It's very skillful, very fast, very strong, scores goals, excellent technically. Very pep once again. Now, there's a BBC South American correspondent called Tim Vickery, and he said he's the most exciting young prospect he's seen since the emergence of Neymar, Alexis Sanchez, and our own Sergio Aguero, which is quite a, it's a massive accolade to say that, given all the talented players that have emerged from that continent in recent years. Uh, City haven't really had historically a link to South America, but there does seem to be quite a few rumours uh, uh, emanating from that area, if you think of Gabriel Jesus as well. And it's a market that we've never really kind of approached, but I wonder if this is a, a change of tact given Guardiola's um, impending arrival. There might be something in it, 8 million apparently according to the Daily Mail, that we've apparently stole the march on United amongst other teams. He'll stay on the outer rings for now, and if he does come, Maybe he'll go on loan first somewhere to prove himself. Maybe there might be work per permit problems, but it's definitely uh, something to keep an eye on in the meantime. And away from all the transfer stuff, I just want to talk a little bit about Raheem Sterling. Uh, we've all seen the, uh, the, the vitriol he's had in the papers recently, and there's a little bit of negativity once again from the Telegraph last night, who included a wage counter. But aside from that, I've been really, really encouraged by the fact that Pep Guardiola allegedly rang uh, Sterling to offer encouragement when he was away at the Euros. He saw the fact he was feeling negative and he got on the phone and he said to him, if you work hard for me, I will fight for you. You're a great player. You're in my plans. Do not worry. How nice is that to hear? This is a manager who really puts value in his players. He puts uh, trust in them. He believes that they will come good if they really commit to their craft and really hone their skills. And he doesn't mind if they make mistakes. I find it fascinating and really interesting that he's already ringing people, despite being on holiday, to reassure them of their stance. And allegedly, he's already had a positive impact on his performance in training for England. He's allegedly been really confident, very happy about the whole news. And it must be great for a 21-year-old man to hear that from the best manager in the world that he rates him and that he wants to be part of his plans next year. So, but yeah, I find that fascinating. And if you're watching this tonight on Monday, get behind Raheem uh, for England if he starts tonight. On Tuesday, if he hasn't had a bad game, so be it. If not, and he's scored, wonderful. But yeah, Blues, get in the comments below. Let us know what you think about John Stones, Marlos Moreno. Have you heard of him at all? Have you seen much about him? Pretty new to him myself, but he seems a very interesting prospect. And Raheem Sterling, is anyone ever going to get off his back? I mean, I really want nothing more for him to succeed in a blue shirt because I think he deserves it because he's a kid. But yeah, let us know what you think. Drop a like on your video, subscribe below, and we'll see you soon.